Welcome. E aí, galera, beleza? Bem-vindo à nossa comunidade. Welcome to our community. Hey, what's going on, guys? It is OGC here. Welcome to today's video. Today's video is a very unique and special video. Um, today, we are going to live up to our promise of uh, the, th uh, I'm sorry, the 100 likes on the previous video where I'll tell you my story. Uh, and also, today is the last video on the OGC Gaming Community channel. Um, So yeah, I'll I'll get more into that uh, throughout everything. But um, in the background, I, I figured I'd show you guys some some of the uh, screenshots from the uh, account that I am playing. Uh, so right now, maintenance is going on. Uh, so by the time you guys are watching this, I'll uh, I'll be wrapping up my my time playing. I think Tuesday or the day that this comes out will will be my last time on Art of Conquest. Uh, and also, I'm recording this during maintenance, so I can't actually get onto my account. So it's pretty cool. There's a couple plus seven temples. Uh, this one is really not super good. It's the Storm Temple. Uh, but I have so many plus seven uh, res Resolve Rune Stones and uh, Galants that might as well make it plus seven. And then, of course, you have the Forest uh, Temple. And this one offers plus 15% damage to archers um, and plus 15% health to archers as well absolutely massive stuff <clears throat> so this is how you should always send your troop requests to players um just because uh they will appreciate you anyways uh this is my my last uh last video for art of conquest um i'm sorry that is relatively uh, abrupt um i've been in talks with it for a, a little while um As I've said before, every everything has has is ending. Every chapter ends, and then a new chapter begins. Uh, in, in the background here, you can see some some of the friends that I, I love to play with. Uh, we we all lined up for Avalon uh, to make a line. So, which, which hero do you start the game with? Avalon. You started with Avalon. So, um, as far as why uh, why I am stopping playing. Um, It has nothing to do with the actual game and it has everything to do with real life. A opportunity came up in life where in January I can go go back to school um, and I can't turn that down. Uh, however, at the same time, I'm unable to play the game full time, uh, work full time and then go to school full time. It's just not realistic. Uh, I was talking with people and people said, hey, just like log on, do, do your dailies, that type of stuff, log in for Clash. Um, and then find out some way to, to make videos. But the the truth and the reality of everything is, uh, for me personally, I cannot play this game and not be competitive. Um, if I play, I have a lot of fun being competitive. But honestly, when I think about the reason why I like playing this game the most is because of all the people. The, the people in this game make the game. This game is a great game, don't don't get me wrong. The mechanics are really cool. How everything works is super uh, intricate. It's, it's all super involved. Um, but honestly, it's the people in here. Uh, will I miss the game? Not really. Uh, the, the game is exactly what it sounds like. It, it's a game. Uh, it breaks my heart because I'm going to miss the people. Uh, I'm going to miss you guys. I'm going to miss logging on and just feeling connected to a giant group of people. Um, it is, it is, it's really hard, uh, but I need to do what, what's best for, for me, for life long term, and, uh, get, having this opportunity to get yet another degree, um, I, I can't turn it down. Uh, these things don't come up super often, uh, and I, I'm going to jump on it. Um, and again, I'll just keep sliding through some of the stuff on, on the account so you guys can see, see whatever. There's plenty of potions on the account. <laughs> Never run out of issues with that. So I guess I'll, I'll tell you a little, little bit about me. Um, and then, um, yeah, then then I, I want to thank you guys uh, at, at the end uh, for, for everything. So <clears throat> for me, I am, I am a failure in society. Uh, through societal norms, I am the utmost failure. Uh, from age 18 to 21, I lived homelessly. Uh, I am a drug addict. I was using uh, drugs by IV. Uh, you name it, I did it. Um, I, I dated prostitutes, ripped off and robbed prostitutes and drug dealers. And um, I, I have uh, over 20 overdoses and or suicide attempts. 
Um, I am an utter failure when it comes to society. Uh, there, there is nothing that ever, I should not be here um, at all. I should not be alive. I, I, I am a quote unquote failure. Uh, when I turned, um, when I turned 22, right, right around 23. So like that, that period in time, uh, 22 to 23, it, it was really when I was 23, but my birthday had just passed. Um, I met a guy, uh, he, he found me in a homeless shelter, right? He, here I am, uh, I, I'm li living in a homeless shelter. I'm, I'm 110 pounds at the absolute most. Uh, skin and bones can't can't tell you the last time that I ate anything uh, and a guy found me he saw that I was miserable he offered me a way out um, the the guy started a foundation uh, to help um, families who have loved ones suffering from from addiction and uh, that guy saved my life um, he said hey come with me do the things that I do and uh, you know what you you deserve to live you deserve to be happy um, and I ran with that I I did what the guy told me to do. Um, it, it was literally that simple. I just had to get out of my own way. Um, and since then, um, it's been over eight years. So yeah, I'm pretty old. I'm 31 now. Uh, it's been over eight years. I haven't had any mind altering, mind altering substance in my body at all. Um, I've gone into surgery. I've had uh, due to um, <laughs> I actually sneezed really hard when I was uh, sick one time, and I gave myself a hernia. And then I continued working out for a couple of years. And uh, with that hernia, it, it got twisted inside of me and I could not pass the bowel movement. I know we're, we're getting personal guys. And uh, my, my life was uh, threatened. And I think at the time I was like six years into recovery or so. Uh, and I did not want to go through surgery because I didn't want any mind, al mind altering substance in my body because I, I know exactly where it, it takes me. I'm either going to overdose, I'm going to try and kill myself out of shame and guilt, um, or I'm going to get arrested again. That, that it, that's what, the, those are the, the alternatives for me. Um, so I was terrified to get the surgery. I went through that surgery, I came out, and I took ibuprofen. Just normal, over-the-counter ibuprofen. I was in so much pain, and uh, that, that's my type of determination for not wanting to go back to being the person that I was. Uh, which was a very selfish person that, that didn't care about anybody besides myself and getting my fix. Um, so fast forward, uh, what I've done since then, uh, I, I've actually, my family now talks to me. That's the best thing in my life. I, I, we can all take all these things for granted, by the way. It, if you haven't been through it, that, that's fine. Um, you don't have to. You just, I hope you never have to. Uh, it, it's honestly the worst. But uh, to me, my family talks to me. My, my mother can say that she's proud of me. Uh, I, I work, uh, which, which is a big deal going from uh, where, where I was um, being an unemployed homeless drug addict, um, doing anything to survive. Now I, I work. I contribute to society. Um, and I don't just do work. I, I work helping people that were in similar shoes that, that I was in. So I, I work with the addictions population, people that are currently going through these things. I can sit down as, as a professional and work with them professionally, um, but I'm not just a person that went to school for a ton of years and um, is able to be like, all right, this is what it says in the book. No, I, I know exactly what they've been through and I, I'm able to actually help people out. And um, it's not a glorious job. Uh, currently I work in the prison systems with the pre-release. So um, Usually it's a bunch of people that are just about to get out of jail now. I've, I've worked in detoxes. I've done uh, uh, clinics. I've, I've, I've worked all over doing various different things, um, intervention work. It, it's, it's absolutely amazing. So um, that being said, I've, I've turned my life around. I've gone back to school. I've, I've gotten uh, multiple degrees. I, I graduated uh, my undergrad. I, I was uh, sumo cum laude. Uh, honestly, I didn't even know what that was until I went to graduate and they're like, dude, you're, you have the highest honors possible. And I'm like, what? Um, and then to see like my, my mother's face and like how proud she was guys. Um, if you could see how many times she looked at me in disgust and utter disappointment, knowing that she loves me, but I, I was just screwing myself up, um, to go from that, to see how proud she was in moments like that. Um, it gives me a sense of purpose. It, it, it gives me life. Um, so anyways, 
my vice was always uh, video games. Um, that that's one of the ways I always dealt with things. And uh, I don't know. I, I feel like in some ways I can be more honest and truthful with uh, my connections with people online. And uh, yeah, so friendships that I've made throughout the, the years uh, with people in video games has actually helped me out significantly. So um, yeah, that, that's, that's where I was. That, that's who I am. Uh, feel free to judge me, put it down in the comments. I, I, I don't care because um, I think that the vulnerability of being yourself is all of our biggest strengths. Uh, so now I have the opportunity to go on and get yet another degree in the, the addictions field. Uh, so I can move on to even bigger and better things with, with my life and hopefully be able to help out more people. Uh, that's my goal. That's all that I want to do, guys. I just want to help people out. Um, whether it's in game or, or in real life, my whole life, I, I tried to get outside of myself because I'm my biggest problem. And maybe you guys can relate to this. Maybe, maybe you procrastinate. Maybe you're... You call yourself lazy. Maybe you just don't want to do things that you know that you should do. And you're the biggest obstacle. For me, I'm my biggest obstacle. I, In fact, I am the only obstacle that exists in this world. So the only way for me to get around me, get around myself, the biggest obstacle, is to do things for other people. To genuinely want to help other people. I don't get paid a ton of money at my jobs. I, I get paid very little i want to say jack crap uh but i i don't get paid a, a, a ton i do it because i i want to but anyways um so that that's me in a nutshell uh i am a societal failure that has been able to make something with their life uh so far and one of the coolest things is uh being able to be here with you guys um this channel started uh, trying to help out a housemate. I just wanted to help them out. Uh, they helped me out tremendously. It is stupious. Uh, like I wanted to do this, but I didn't want to, and I needed that person to push me. And Dupious came, she saw, and she pushed me. Um, the only reason why any of this started to happen was because of her. So thank you to Dupious. But um, I feel like we, we really created a, a unique atmosphere. Between the OGC community chat, between the, the OGC community discord, um, being able to connect with you guys, I, for me, it's, it's been everything. Um, again, I, the game is, is it's a great game. I, I really like the game. I, I could care less about it. I care about the people I, I meet in it. And uh, yeah, you guys are some of the, the coolest people I've, I've met. Um, totally accepting. I, I've had uh, very, very few people that have been really negative towards this channel. Um, for the most part, it has been overwhelming um, amount of support and, and love. So thank you guys for that. Um, the Patreons, uh, I know I sent you guys all messages, but um, thank, thank you guys for being there. Um, it's to, to have somebody literally put uh, money on the line and be like, we value your opinions. We want to hear what you're saying or to be like, hey, literally here's a measurable amount of currency. Um, keep doing what you're doing because we appreciate that. Um, it's so cool. I, I, I can't put it into words. So thank you to all, all the Patreons. And I guess um, I guess probably the, the biggest thing that I want to say is um, I'm sorry that this channel's ending. Uh, I, I, I really am. I'm, I'm sorry because I, I know that there's so many people that look forward to the videos or reach out. Uh, and I'm sorry if I didn't get back to you. Um, for I think for the most part, I got back to everyone though. But I'm, I'm sorry that it's going to come to an end. Uh, hopefully there's somebody out there that can pick up the slack and keep carrying on. Hopefully not death. He, he's so boring to watch. But uh, hopefully there's somebody that's going to step up to the plate and actually... Uh, keep the the torch going uh, for the game because it's a, a great game um, and yeah it, it, it's, it's pretty cool all, all around with that so yeah I'm, I'm sorry that it is going to come to an end um, I will <laughs> I will have another YouTube channel a, a different channel coming out um, probably in in a few months I think what I'm going to do is uh, do a channel for mental health and um, I mean, I, I've spent, I don't know, 
six, seven years in, in school studying different mental health things, primarily addiction, but it would be cool to do a, uh, a, a YouTube channel and kind of um, not just like this, I'd actually wear like professional looking stuff and kind of break down what, what is addiction and how do you actually help addiction? Um, what, what's enabling? And uh, I, you know, that, that's, that, that is my passion at the end of the day. So I, I think I'm going to keep doing something with the YouTube. Uh, when I do make that channel, uh, I will post it here. So if you are subscribed to this, stay subscribed. Um, probably in, in a few months, I'll, I'll have a video pop up and it, it will redirect you to a, a new channel. Um, even though it won't be Art of Conquest related, if you guys still want, want to support me and my passion, feel free to. Um, it, I, I, I greatly uh, appreciate all of it. So I am sorry that that it is coming to, to an end. Um, hopefully somebody else can pick it up, but I, I guess... Uh, I, that that's the count that I was playing, by the way. Almost a million power temple. Um, I guess the thing that I want to say the the most, because by the time this video comes out, I, it's really I'm I'm not really going to be there. Uh, so I guess if I'm going to leave you guys with with anything, um, I really sincerely hope that I added to your gameplay experience. Uh, I hope that this channel offered you guys some, either some form of insight. Maybe it it um it gave you a community to connect with. The community chat is going to keep going. Um, I'm going to pass the admin administration abilities over to somebody else that's going to stay active. Uh, but hopefully it, it it helped you guys, or you guys felt more involved and drawn in and like excited about the game because this game is really exciting. Um, I would I'd keep doing it. I just I'm not going to have time coming up, and I'm going to go away for a couple of weeks. Uh, really soon so uh, timing is everything but um yeah so uh thank you guys for coming along for the for the ride it has been a ton of fun um i i loved it i loved it uh i still do um and this is at probably i didn't think about this before i started recording the video so i'm sorry if i'm all over the place this is probably one of the harder things I, i've done in in my life um because I, I swear every day, every, every day I log in, there, there's um, probably a dozen messages from people that I've either helped or um, th just thanking for, for what's going on here. And uh, yeah, so to know that I'm, I'm helping people out in, in this capacity and I'm not going to be able to, uh, I, it's definitely a loss. Um, I, I definitely feel re really sad about it, but I know long term the best thing for me is to, to keep focusing on helping people in the professional career capacity that I'm set out to do. Um, but yeah, so I think that, that that's about it. Uh, otherwise, I'm just going to start getting too mushy and I'm starting to turn purple on, on the screen. Uh, so anyways, um, the OGC community chat and the Discord will still be going. Uh, feel free to go down below into the description of this video to find the Discord. If uh, if at this point in time, uh, weeks have gone by and you're finding this and you're not in the OGC community chat, ask on Discord, somebody will add you. Um, again, I hope you guys uh, liked the content. I hope you guys um, enjoyed the ride while, while we had it. Um, nothing is forever in, in, in this life and uh, Every time something ends, something else begins. So I'm, I'm going to go begin on my, my next journey. Um, start up a mental health YouTube channel that if you guys feel inclined, feel free to follow. And uh, with that, guys, with, with that, guys, um, take care. Stay safe on Nor. Stay safe on Drake. Uh, keep your friends close in the game and have a ton of fun. Um, until next time, guys, when, whenever we meet again, take care. It's OGC.